Well, I may have caught my trap digger. Look at here. The old coon. I caught him in that trail set that I set yesterday. Just the scent hole. This is in, uh, I caught him in that dogless trap. That Montgomery that I got. Oh, we're gonna have to reset that. Take I am, usually it's a small coon. Usually I would probably just let him go, but not if he's been digging up my sets, I'm not gonna let him go. We're gonna keep him and reset that for the fox. I'm hoping that this was the guy that was digging up my traps because my other sets are not dug up. <laughs> so the trail set here, they were following this trail, if you can see right behind me, along the woods. There's a little trail out here and uh, they were following along the edge of the corn and the, of course the coon are eating the corn as well. So we're going to take care of this guy and get out of here. Got to go to work. Frosty morning this morning. Nice and cool. And apparently I have a trap on a fantastic coon trail. Because there's a second coon in two days. And that blind set again. I had it set right in the trail. Along the edge of the cornfield here. It must be just following the edge of that corn. And of course this whole area is smelt like skunk or smelt like coon you can see he has a cat circle in there now right on the edge of the cornfield looks like I have another front foot catch all right let's get him taken care of not that my other sets weren't touched so you can see there's an, I have a dirt hole right here hasn't been touched yet Obviously this is a, a hot coon trail here. All right, let's get this remade and reset. You can see here he's been pulling the corn stalks down, eating the corn, digging. All right, let's get him taken care of. Okay, I reset this. I pulled the set, there's the old bed, the trap bed. I pulled the set, I replaced it with a DP. I mean, they're traveling right in this. This is uh, one thing I should mention. This is a push-pull uh, trap. So it will activate if they push the peg or if they pull the peg. For that, you do not want to fill the bait right to the top. On a pull only, you can fill the bait right to the top. And then they'll, they'll you know, eat the bait, eat the bait, eat the bait. And then when they get to the end of it, try to pull it out. They'll hook the, the spur and then the trigger and then they'll get caught. On a push-pull trap, if you fill it up, as soon as he pushes his paw in there to get the stuff that's on the top, it will go off. So you don't want to do that. I put, you can just might be able to see they put a little bit of uh, coon scent on the top of it. It's like an attractor scent. It's, it's anise. Not that I need it. This this whole area stinks like coon now. So I didn't. Re I wasn't in place with that trap. It's causing a little bit of foot damage. So I took it out. And I'll modify it. I'll, I'll probably make a uh, a split jaw trap. I'll probably cut the jaws on it so it has a little bit more relief on it. But the springs are strong on it. I mean, they held the animal, but I didn't like that it was causing a little foot damage on it. So we're going to modify it. So we have two good coon catches so far. And it's time for me to go to work again. Back to my real job. Well... Apparently, I have not got rid of my trap diggers. I've taken two coons now out of here. And obviously, this fox was back tonight or last night. And he dug this set again. You can just see where he dug up the edge of the trap there. The trap is right here. The pan of the trap would be right there. The dirt hole was there. You can see where he covered in the dirt hole when he was digging. He dug right at the front of it. How I how he didn't step in that freaking pan, I don't know.
he probably urinated on it. I'd be pretty sure. Let's take a walk down this way. There's my scent post. Right there. That hair doesn't look like you touched that. But this set here. Look at. I mean that is fresh droppings right on that freaking set. You can see his footprint right there. Can't believe it. Cannot believe it. No coons today. There's my trail. Oh, I have my work cut out for me, I think. Well, you can see here, Fox is back again. You can plainly see where they urinated on the set. That's what I thought they had marked when they on the first day they uncovered that trap. They uh, they probably peed on it. You can see the droppings were there from yesterday. Get my camera to focus. Low light. Now I come back this morning. There's a deer scrape right here. It's got an, a pine tree over the top of it. And there's another fresh dropping right here that wasn't there yesterday. So the fox came back past here again last night. And my other set wasn't touched, but they're after marking this set again. They didn't dig this time, but you can plainly, I mean, this is fresh. This He must have just done this just before I came. You can see right where he urinated, right on over the, I mean, right over the trap pen. Trap pen is right there, right where about that leaf is. It's right here. And then some more droppings right here. Oh, I can't believe that. We're gonna have to do something good to get this guy. Tail buck. Oh, maybe it's a doe. It's following right down the path here. Well. Wow. I think this morning I finally got lucky. I've been checking these sets for a week and I've had a fox that's been urinating on my sets, digging my sets. I'm coming down here this morning, I can hear the chap train rattling. And there is a beautiful red fox in my set. Nice. All right, easy. I made a trail into the set. I don't want to distress him too much. All right. There he is. Oh, he's a beauty. Nice red fox. Got him in that Bridger 175. This fox has come back to the site. I, maybe, I'm hoping it's this fox, but there may be another fox. 
Uh, I had what I did was I made a trail coming into this from each side. I wore it down with my foot over the last couple of days, and I was going to come in today and put some other sets in on this, or put some other traps in on this set. There was, this is the set that where the, the fox had urinated on it and he had put droppings on it and then he had put droppings in the deer scrape. There's a deer scrape right here in front of it. I am well pleased with that. Uh, I'm hoping this is my digger. <laughs> uh, if it is, good. If it's not, the game is still afoot. So I'm really pleased with this catch.